Welcome back to Swing of the Month again, and this month we've got Peter Smith who's done a fantastic job swing-wise and really starting to play much better golf. So Peter's old swing here on the left is based around trying to turn a lot and create power. Um, now with Peter's setup being kind of a bit called back or too far back at the top of the body and, and open with the alignment of his pelvis and shoulders, then Peter was trying to turn a lot. So this is his version of turn where he'd end up behind the ball shoulders working too flat and over rotating or overturning basically at the beginning of the swing and this is quite a common pattern or, or type of swing and the problem is with that that Peter's so far turned early that he's got to loop back over so we could see his body trying to get back to where it should be and the shoulders looping over steeper than they've gone back which is always going to give a steep delivery with the club so he always felt like he was going to be coming in shallow because of the where the body was on the way back but it's actually the, the opposite and then coming through he has to stand up or extend the body, lean back a bit to try and shadow the club out again and then that leads to very much an inconsistent um, strike and, and ball flight. So Peter's new one's about understanding a different way to turn so Peter's whole swing now is far more centred like this and, it, and his turn's very different so he turns around the middle rather than moving back a lot and over rotating his shoulders early. So again in comparison to the, the original one this is, this is so different here. So now when Peter comes in, he can actually move forward correctly and the shoulders actually shallow out as they should do coming in here rather than looping over and coming in steeper as you can see. So from here when Peter hits, he can now hit forward. The, the pressure and the weight keeps moving forward which means he gets more power into his shots and better distance, more consistency with the strike and um, just generally playing much better because his body can move correctly through the, through the strike. So as we look at the back view, we'll see on the left with Peter's old swing that the club will go very flat or inside early on at the start of the swing here due to the early turn. So this feels quite shallow or quite flat to, to hit Peter but then we can see the loop over so the hands and the arms and the club all loop over and the shaft starts to come in more vertical which you'd never really want. So from the new one here with Peter's new concept of what turn is and, and how much to turn the club and his arms travel up in a different direction and the shaft gets much shallow at the top of the swing and then doesn't loop over, actually shallows out on the way down here which is what it should do coming into strike so again very different first moves into the into impact here and the one on the left will require that standing up, straightening with the body and then you know compensations or, or, or things to actually make the, make the strike work whereas the new one's far more consistent for him so something to be aware of perhaps for your swing that you know how much to turn and, and, and what a turn is so this can easily turn into an over rotation and, and give a you know a swing that loops like you can see uh, like Pete had so well done Peter for the hard work and practice keep going and um, check out the next swing of the month